Good afternoon. Um, today is Friday, August 1st, 2014, and we're looking at a beautiful summer day here at Las Cordilleras in El Retiro, Antioquia. A lot of activity has taken place over the past couple of days. I haven't posted much because we've been, you know, knee deep in work. All right, let's start with the first. The water system, um, you know, as we uh, get involved with hydroponic fodder and we have more animals in the farm, we definitely need a uh, greater amount of water to be used on a daily basis. We do have a water spring at the base of the valley that goes beyond this little plateau. It's, it's a natural spring that's born right there on our property. And so we're going to be using a ram pump. It's a pump that doesn't use electricity or any type of fuel other than the weight of water uh, to pump water. It basically uses 90% of the water to pump 10% of the water to a higher elevation from its original source. We're going to have more details on this later on. In the greenhouse, we've had quite a bit of work, so let's go ahead and go to it straight. Um, uh, we've had uh, some test runs with the fodder. They were quite successful. We used this little uh, frame, the structure to hold those two black trays. You've seen the photograph before. But what we really did, uh, aside from providing the shade, the shade that we need for the temperature and the amount of uh, solar radiation that we get here, is that we ended up uh, using these uh, plastic roof tiles. We had to modify to, uh, things to cut costs and make it efficient. Used wadwa um, pillars and basically very thin rebar so we could put up the frame to hold the trays and the trays are now basically being fertilized using nebulizers, very fine mist um, that are brought from uh, abroad. This is all tied for the moment to a gasoline pump, but next week uh, it will be operating automatically from an electric pump. And this is fodder that was planted two days ago, and look how it's growing. So, seven kilos of fodder in 10 days, this should be 49 kilos of fodder per tray. And this, these 10 trays, is enough to feed about 300 uh, animals, hens, chickens. All right, we've bought some tanks, we bought some mesh, uh, we have some cement because we are going to be doing a couple of things. All right, before that, we did set up the storage room. We have all sorts of supplies here. Uh, this is actually where we eventually will have some pigs. It's messy right now, but uh, because it's being used for storage. This area, where we have this compost pile, is a bit messy, but this area is gonna, all gonna be clean. Right where I'm focusing, there's gonna be a, a uh, concrete uh, structure that will support that massive 6,000 liter tank. So it's gonna be higher uh, than the greenhouse. So a lot of work that's taking place here. It looks messy in a couple of days. Basically, we're gonna have a concrete slab here because this is gonna be an area where we're gonna germinate uh, the corn. We're gonna wash uh, the different barrels that we use on a daily basis and other stuff. All right, let's go and see what else we have. Um, since I have so much to cover, You'll excuse me if I move a little bit fast because otherwise it becomes a very long video. Well, we intend to uh, fence a greater area of the farm. We uh, did do some major fencing a couple of weeks ago. So we ended up buying some wadwa. It's still green. It's going to dry. Uh, we have 86 uh, meter long wadwa, um, uh, bamboo wadwa that we will be using for this purpose. Uh, containers that will be used to germinate the corn. Uh, here we went ahead and we dug a hole to uh, bury this uh, tank. This tank is going to collect the water, uh, the overflow of water from uh, the time when we irrigate, uh, we fertilize through the nebulizers, the hydroponic fodder. Okay, so here's the system that we're setting up. It's a 1,000 liter tank and inside, well, it has some, uh, it has a special nozzle that will basically reduce the amount of debris that comes in the water. This is an Italian pump. It looks small, but it's very powerful with a uh, single flow check. This will be connected to this hose that currently is connected to this gasoline pump. There is a filter 
And this um, area that, where we see this hole, that's for the tubing that's going to come from the um, greenhouse. So the excess water just doesn't get absorbed by the soil, but it returns to the tank. So we're doing this right now manually, but this is all going to be automated. All right, we hear some chirping. So we are here in the incubator room. Oh, by the way, yeah, our stock of trays for the eggs. And look what we have here in this incubator room. Believe it or not, I just checked. You hear the chirps? Yeah, you can see. We're having new born chicks. They're just starting to hatch. It's just happening. I bet Luis Fernando doesn't know because I just met him on the road. Uh, so, you know, between today and tomorrow, actually, maybe tomorrow and Sunday, we will be taking out these chicks. All right, come on, Max. You can't be in the incubator room, you know that. All right, what else have we done? Um, so we did install the other day the um, electric fence uh, because since we're now fencing greater areas, oh, look, Pepe and Berta, that's another thing. We're letting them run free. Uh, Calvin uh, and Max have felt a little bit threatened by them, but um, they're getting to run free because uh, we had an issue. Uh, the, the little pond that we had constructed here uh, was constructed using just a plastic that was just laid over the, the hole that we, we dug out. Well, that has a problem. You, you cannot drain it. And if you cannot drain it, um, it's ultimately going to be filled with their um, excrements and it's not going to be healthy. So we decided to just drain the whole thing. We're going to put a concrete base and you see that uh, dugout that goes all the way to the end. We're going to have a pump, uh, a pipe that will be buried there with a drain at the bottom. And that, that way every other month or so, or you know, whenever needed, we're actually going to drain the pond. That way it's going to be healthy for the animals. And then, um, you know, because it was completely unfair. So right now, we are rewarding them by allowing them to roam free. All right, we've done some additional construction here with, um, with the shelters. This shelter we enclose to make sure the wind, especially at night, does not affect our free range chickens. We also set up their nesting areas and they're happy as ever, just roaming around. Uh, I think you've seen before, we did put up the tanks that feed the automatic water feeders that provide water at will to the chickens. So, this area had been fenced. We didn't have this gate. Now we do, and there's a reason we have this gate, and we have separated this area. Allow me, I know it's, I'm driving you dizzy right now, but you're just swinging the camera, but I have to close the gate. Over on the other side of the fence, we have the happy free-range chickens. But look who we have here on this side. We have the ones that were born last weekend. Look, they're all running around. Yes, they're growing by leaps and bounds. Um, we had originally 117 were taken out. Uh, two died just simply because they tend to, you know, cluster and pile on top of each other. And even though we had a circular area, they ultimately um, uh, just couldn't make it. They, they were suffocated by their, their peers. But look, healthy, eating, you know, having excellent room. Look at this shelter. It has the shade during the day. It has the grass, uh, water, and food at will. Uh, this is, this is true country living, I mean, at its finest. We want these animals to not be confined and be in, you know, conditions that, you know, are unhealthy and just stressful. Our animals are two happy organic chickens. All right, um, let's see what else we've done. Uh, well, there is quite a bit. Uh, we've enclosed, uh, areas. Uh, we've put up... Um, the electric fence and, um, you know, set up uh, the, the new uh, corral. So, so we had seen this corral before, but now it's separated. The chickens are doing very well. The fertilizing with uh, 
the compost tea. Uniquely successful. Look at the leaves. Um, you know, we're very happy with the results so far. And from this area, we're going to film um, you know, our happy